my master's thesis was on sea turtle egg consumption and conservation in a small island called Redang Island in Malaysia. Uh, so sea turtles are characterized by a complex life cycle, which includes long migrations and late sexual maturity. Uh, moreover, only one in thousand eggs that are laid uh, make it to adulthood. So these unique life history characteristics along with increasing anthropogenic threats make it particularly challenging for the conservation of this species. Uh, in Malaysia, there are four sea turtle species, all of which are threatened and have seen dramatic population declines over the last few decades. One of the major threats to these species are the overexploitation of their eggs. Um, sea turtle eggs in Malaysia have been consumed for decades as a local delicacy as well as a traditional medicine. Moreover, it is a source of income and sustains the local livelihoods in these islands. Uh, typically, these, these eggs are sold in the mainland markets for around uh, 60 cents to 1 euro per egg. Uh, so coming to the uh, study site. It, this study was located in Redang Island, which is off the northeast coast of Peninsula Malaysia. And it's a small island of about 25 square kilometers. And it's very popular because of its uh, high, it, it receives the highest green turtle nesting density, and as well as a po popular tourism destination. Uh, the island has one village located in the center, five sea turtle sanctuaries on the west of the island, and all the resorts located on the east. Uh, the village is uh, has around 2,000 inhabitants, and most locals are employed in the tourism sector currently. In the past, they were mostly fishermen and uh, were involved in uh, egg collection. However, this rapid growth in tourism has shifted the occupation uh, from fishermen. Um, Redang Island is particularly interesting for sea turtle conservationists because there's a long history of conservation which has involved licensed egg collection from the 50s initiated by the government. However, in the 80s, a, a biologists noted a steep decline in the local sea turtle population. And this uh, led to the initiation of a local NGO called Sea True which uh, oversaw um, monitoring methods of uh, sea turtles as well as they ran an awareness program for 16 years. This awareness program is particularly interesting because um, they involved local children where they, they took local school children to the nesting beaches and they educated them about uh, sea turtle conservation, the threats they face. And at the end of this program, um, the students took a pledge to stop consuming eggs, and this was voluntary. Over the last 16 years, around 800 individuals in the local village have been through this program. Uh, in 2004, there were five turtle sanctuaries that were uh, gazetted in the island. And then after which, a study showed that the sea turtle population is gradually increasing over the years. So coming to our study, uh, there were three main objectives that we wanted to look at. We first wanted to look at the current status of egg consumption, so look at the patterns uh, in this practice. Secondly, we wanted to see what the factors are that influence this practice, and specifically the impact of the awareness program. Finally, we investigated the local perceptions on this behavior. Uh, so we collected data through interviews, uh, in uh, uh, 73 local households where we interviewed one adult household member. So we got information from that household member on his or her status of consumption, as well as the, um, uh, that individual answered for the other household members as well. Um, so we analyzed the data using a mixed method of um, analysis, which involved quantitative analysis using uh, regression models and uh, descriptive analysis and chi-square tests, as well as qualitative analysis to look at the local perception. Uh, so what we found was 60% of the respondents still consume eggs. However, all respondents reported a decrease in uh, the egg consumption uh, due to many factors, which, um, which uh, mainly revolves around the protection of these beaches. 
So the protection of the beaches has led to an exclusive exclusivity of this resource, which has made a, a decreased supply of turtle eggs in the market, causing it to increase in price. And uh, so locals can't afford this commodity anymore. And uh, respondents ate eggs only typically around once or twice in a year. Uh, when it came to uh, what the main factors that influence this practice were, uh, we found that age of the individual, uh, their involvement in uh, past egg collection, and the awareness program played a significant role in determining whether the, um, the egg consumption. Uh, so uh, typically, most egg consumers were above the age of 50. So as age increased, the likelihood of consuming eggs increased as well. And this could probably be because of their exposure to this practice for a longer time and their cultural value towards um, sea turtle eggs. Um, and the tender system involvement, which is basically their past um, uh, dependence on these uh, eggs as a source of income, also had a big role in determining their egg consumption. So this means that egg collectors were more skilled in uh, uh, procuring eggs from the beaches. Uh, finally, when it came to the impact of the awareness program, most people who had attended the program uh, had stopped consuming eggs. And 80% of the respondents who took the pledge said that they stopped eating the eggs because of the pledge that they took when they were a child. Uh, and overall, uh, most respondents, including the adults, um, had positive views on this program. So to conclude, um, egg consumption in the small island is a very interesting case study because it's influenced by multiple factors, which include protection, the age of individuals, awareness programs, and uh, their past egg collection dependence. Um, so, and as well as something that I didn't highlight in uh, the previous slides was the growth in the tourism sector has. Um, has influenced uh, their egg dependence on these uh, commodities because it's grown as an alternative source of income. Uh, so finally, to conclude and to recommend, awareness programs should be restarted in these islands and should target both children and adults. And although egg consumption might have decreased in these islands, other threats like tourism and coastal development might uh, might uh, negatively influence and impact these species. Um, some of the references, and I would like to especially thank Bliss for awarding me with the Master's Thesis Award this year, um, and my promoters and everyone else who helped me during my thesis. Thank you.